The Department of Defense says during the last fiscal year, the military services collectively missed recruiting goals by about 41,000 recruits. Mr. Cal, you have stated, quote, this administration has a growing obsession with DEI. It's no wonder we have a military recruiting problem. Can you please explain how you believe diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts have impacted military recruiting efforts? You have 30 seconds. When you're using a uh, you know, drag queen to recruit for the Navy, that's not the people we want. What we need is alpha males and alpha females who are going to rip out their own guts eat them and ask for seconds. That, those are young men and women that are going to win wars. Uh, please, please, audience, please, please quiet down. Audience, please remember we did ask for, for limited, for no reaction to the candidates so that we can get through as many topics tonight as possible. Of the 227 bills that Senator Kane has proposed, only three of them made it through. That's completely that's, wrong. That's a, that's a 99% failure rate. I, my profession is disarming bombs. Check the bombs. on that. That's completely wrong. Okay, sir. There's two truths in the world, okay? Never walk in a Target store wearing a red shirt and never go against an Asian when it comes to math. Trust what, me. What, <laughs> what does that mean? Gentlemen, look, we're going to move on. Look, look he, he's we'll got a 99% failure rate. If I, if I defuse bombs gentlemen, and I have 99% failure rate, I wouldn't topic. be here. Next topic, best Deanna. managed state yes. in America, best state gentlemen. for business, Mr. best Kane. state for education. Mr. Kane, Mr. Cal, we're moving on to the next topic. Are there any circumstances under which you would not certify the results if Vice President Kamala Harris won the election? You have 60 seconds. I, I don't know where you're asking this from. I mean, I, I would certify because if she won, then she, she won. That's the thing. It's like, you, you know, they keep calling me a threat to democracy. Do you understand that I... I know what a threat to democracy is. My father was put on a kill list by the communists. We had to run away in the middle of the night to get to, to, out of Vietnam. I spent my entire life fighting to defend democracy. And people who've never worn the cloth of this nation call me a threat to democracy. After just three years ago, they were, they were thanking me for my service. I know what a threat to democracy is. And you know what a threat to democracy is? What's happening on our border, our southern border, when 13,000 Convicted murders and 16,000 convicted rapists are coming through. What's happening on our campuses when they shout death to America? That's a threat to our democracy. Mr. Cowell, you've supported removing undocumented immigrants who have committed violent crime. Do you support mass deportation of all undocumented immigrants? You have 60 seconds. Immigration is very near and dear to my heart. When Vietnam fell, we had nowhere to go, and America had brought us in. And my parents waited in line for seven years, we all did, for seven years to get our citizenship. The last thing that my dad had hang over his bed when he passed away two years ago was his naturalization certificate. I love this country so much that I wrote a blank check up to including my life to defend it for 25 years in Iraq, Afghanistan, Somalia, and other parts of the world. So here's my, here's my thing to anybody who wants to come here. Don't ask for the American dream if you're not willing to debate American laws and embrace the American culture. Because it, I did. And so that's, that's the number one criteria coming in this country. If you come here illegally, then you need to leave. Thank you, Mr. Cowell. But the question, do you support mass deportation of all documented immigrants? That was the question asked. You have 30 seconds to respond. If you came here illegally, you, you, you're basically screwing up the whole system. There's people that are waiting in line, like my family, for seven years for their naturalization papers. And so you can't jump the line. I mean, you go to Costco and you jump the line, what do you think is going to happen? You know? And so that's the thing. You can't come here and expect the American dream if you're not willing to obey the American laws and embrace the American culture. That's what I did. All right. Thank you, Mr. Cow. The policy of mass deportations, though, that you support, result, if they result in additional violence and unrest, how should the government respond? You have 30 seconds. There's violence and unrest now. Look in Aurora, C Colorado. Look at all the other places in the world where MS-13 gangs are coming across. Fentanyl. It's already happening. It's already happening in our country. Deport anybody that's committing crimes right now. That's the first thing. We need to secure the border. We need to deport anybody that's already uh, over here or co committing crimes and stop giving a billion dollars a day, and that includes Gift, gift cards that they're giving them and plane tickets anywhere and a cell phone and then enforce the uh, E-Verify. If they don't get paid to do their jobs, then, then they will self-deport. Are you better off to, today than you were four years ago? The answer across the board is no. 
The only people better off today than they were four years ago are illegal aliens, criminals, and senators like Senator Tim Kaine. Where's the leadership? Joe Biden's on the beach, Kamala Harris is with a bunch of billionaires doing a fundraiser, and Senator Tim Kaine is at a pig roast. If it has to do with Ukraine, they're all over it. If it's about illegal aliens, they're all over it. But if you're Americans, you're on your own. Would you support some form of reparations for today's descendants of the enslaved? You have 45 seconds. Our country needs to heal, and we can't keep healing if we keep picking at the scabs. When I came to this country, my mom said, they can take away your money, they can take away your position in life, but they can never take away the knowledge in your head. That's why we push education so hard. The problem we have right now is that we're paying a billion dollars a day to feed and house illegal aliens in this country. We're taking care of them better than we've taken care of Americans. We need to be medevacking a lot of these Americans that are, that are homeless right now due to the Hurricane Helene. And we need to put them into the hotels and getting, getting room service instead of giving it to illegal aliens. And my th fear with what Kamala Harris wants to do with unrealized gains is if my house goes up in Zillow, you know, it's just go up in Zillow, but then I don't have that money in my pocket, and she wants to tax that. What Senator Kane wants to do is introduce more laws that will restrict Americans from buying guns. Instead of doing background checks on illegal aliens that are coming across this country, 13,000 convicted murders, 16,000 convicted rapists that have come across under his watch. Let's do background checks on them.